Audacity, personalizing your keyboard shortcuts the way you like them. Greetings and welcome from Phil Schneider, the LibriVox video guy. I'd like to talk to you today about personalizing your keyboard shortcuts. Now a keyboard shortcut is simply a keyboard stroke or double stroke down here, which tells your Audacity uh, program to do something. For a great example is the built-in spacebar. When you press spacebar, your program starts playing. When you press it again, it stops. Um, then there are, they're all over the place. There's a C, there's a Z, and many others. So, but the one I use the most all the time, they don't have a keyboard shortcut that I like. In fact, it's very awkward to use. The zoom in and zoom out. When I'm listening to a track and, oops, I hear a click, let's say, right there. Whoops, I got to zoom in on it. Click, click. First, I got to find where is my little zoom in. As you know, they move around on, <laughs> up here somewhere, depending on what size my um, screen is. So I got to zoom in and say, ah, there it is. Right there. Then cut it and then zoom back out. Find my zoom out and go back to listening again. That's a lot of looking and clicking and time. So I wanted to make a keyboard shortcut. And this is how you can assign any key to do one of the commands that you use all the time. You go to Edit, Preferences, and wait here at the bottom is called Keyboard. Mine came up that way because I've been using it a lot. And these are the commands and these are the key combinations. For example, Control key plus the letter S will save your project, an Audacity project. So let's find zoom in. There's a lot of these, by the way. Did I mention that? Yes, I did. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Zoom in. Now, currently, zoom in is assigned to the control plus one. Now, my finger, my hand cannot actually do that. Uh, the way I'm sitting is almost impossible. So, you, if you want to change it, I would click on this particular line, put clear. And you'll notice that it's gone from over here. Now the letter I want to assign to it is A. I want, I want A to zoom in. Now when I press A to put it in there, you'll notice that it won't let me do it. Because that key the keyboard shortcut is already assigned to previous tool. Oh, well that means simply that I have to find previous tool and of course, once you get these set, you can keep, here it goes, previous tool. I'm going to clear that. Go back up to zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, here it is. Zoom in. Zoom in. Click here. Press A. Then set. Now that is set. Zoom out. Clear. Put my cursor in the box, press S, press set. Okay. Now, when I'm listening and having fun and I hear a click, I can just highlight it and go zoom, 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 find it, and then zoom, 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 zoom right back out. I, can, I don't have to take my eyes off of the track. And of course, while I'm listening or while I'm working, I can change this to speed. Um, I will find one thing is, you know, when, when your cursor moves off and it clicks back over here, all I have to do is press these two buttons and it keeps my cursor right in the middle so I can keep track of what's going on. Um, I like it. It saves time for me. So that's it. That's how you would set your preferences um, for any key that you use a lot to save you time. I, I believe this has saved me a tremendous amount of time, effort, and worry. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to let me know. I'm always on the lookout for things to help me make my Audacity editing simpler. Thank you.